traders from Djibouti selling to Kenya or traders from Kenya selling to Djibouti have to look for US dollars. How is US dollars part of the trade between Djibouti and Kenya? Currency, cooperation, and transition. Today, we're diving into the latest developments in global finance, where the BRICS nations, including India and Nigeria, are shaking up the status quo by moving away from the US dollar in favor of local currency trade. This significant shift signals a challenge to the traditional dominance of the dollar and could have far-reaching implications for the global financial landscape. But how might these changes impact Bitcoin and your financial future? Let's find out. First, let's get everyone up to speed. BRICS stands for Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. This powerful alliance has been pushing to reduce reliance on the US dollar for a while now. And guess what? They're making serious strides. India and Nigeria are the latest to join the de-dollarization movement. They've agreed to use their local currencies for bilateral trade instead of the dollar. This is huge, folks. Under Russia's BRICS chairship in 2024, several key priorities have been outlined in policy and security. The focus is on the seamless integration of new members, including Egypt, Iran, UAE, Saudi Arabia, and Ethiopia, ensuring harmonious interaction and enhancing cooperation with BRICS partner countries. This also involves developing practical modalities for interaction, strengthening the efficiency of international relations, and upholding the supremacy of international law and the principle of sovereign equality. Additionally, creating strong ties with developing nations and their integration associations, promoting the institutional development of BRICS, and intensifying cooperation to ensure international security and strategic stability at both regional and global levels are pivotal. The agenda also includes developing the capacity for cooperation in countering terrorism, combating money laundering and the financing of terrorism, and strengthening efforts to return assets obtained by criminal means. Moreover, enhancing cooperation to establish a system for international information security and preventing conflicts in the information space are crucial goals. Now, let's talk about the economic and financial cooperation agenda under the Russian chairmanship. The main objectives include unifying efforts against the fragmentation of the multilateral trade system, increased protectionism, and the introduction of illegal unilateral trade restrictions. There is a strong emphasis on adapting the global trade system to threats related to global crises and strengthening interaction among BRICS states on relevant multilateral platforms like the WTO, IMF, World Bank, and G20. Increasing the volume of trade and direct investment, promoting a balanced and fair transition to a low-carbon economy, and intensifying innovative cooperation are also key. The agenda aims to enhance the role of BRICS states in the international monetary and financial system, develop interbank cooperation, assist in transforming the international payment system, and expand the use of national currencies in mutual trade, strengthening cooperation on the use of payment systems and financial technologies, boosting industrial development, and ensuring food and energy security are crucial. Additionally, expanding cooperation in the transport sector, enhancing capacity to detect and respond to health crises, and preventing and eliminating the consequences of natural and man-made emergencies are significant. Lastly, fostering technology transfers, supporting joint high-tech production, and intensifying cooperation among BRICS business communities are highlighted. Timely and coordinated measures to switch over the financial settlements between our countries to the national currencies enhance the deepening of the trade and investment ties. The share of ruble and yuan in Russian and Chinese commercial operations has exceeded 90% already and continues to grow. The Russian chairmanship's humanitarian and cultural agenda includes a broad range of initiatives. Institute Institutionalizing interparliamentary cooperation and strengthening ties in education are fundamental, including building up the capacity of the BRICS Network University and the BRICS Cooperation Alliance in technical and vocational education. There is also a strong focus on intensifying cooperation among the BRICS scientific and expert community, promoting interaction among young scientists and innovators, and fostering multifaceted cultural cooperation. Enhancing interaction in physical culture and sports, expanding tourism, and boosting practical interaction on youth policy are also key objectives. The agenda promotes the development of social partnerships, the volunteer movement, and volunteering, along with supporting cooperation among BRICS regions, cities, and municipalities. Now, here's where it gets even more interesting. The IMF has warned about a possible collapse of the US dollar. This isn't just some small-time alarmism, it's a significant warning. The IMF's representative from Russia highlighted the current financial system's inadequacies and suggested that BRICS should prepare for a dollar collapse. They're even proposing a BRICS accounting unit as a potential alternative to the dollar. Imagine that, a new reserve currency that could replace the dollar if it collapses. 
This could be a game changer for global finance. Such a scenario could have profound implications for the global economy. A collapse of the US dollar could lead to a loss of confidence in the global financial system, triggering financial instability and economic turmoil. For BRICS countries, having a viable alternative in place could help mitigate these risks and provide a more stable and secure foundation for their economic activities. This could involve developing a new reserve currency, enhancing the use of national currencies in international trade, and strengthening financial cooperation among BRICS nations. So, what does this mean for Bitcoin and the global financial landscape? The shift away from the US dollar by major economies like India and Nigeria, coupled with the IMF's warning, could have significant implications for Bitcoin and the broader cryptocurrency market. As the BRICS alliance continues to make agreements with additional nations without utilizing the dollar, the U.S. economy will be at risk. This could lead to a shift in global economic power dynamics, potentially creating new opportunities and challenges for Bitcoin and other digital assets. Crypto investors are closely monitoring these developments, as a potential U.S. dollar collapse could drive increased demand for Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies as alternative stores of value and mediums of exchange. However, the impact on the crypto market would depend on various factors, including the pace and scale of the de-dollarization process, the success of the BRICS accounting unit, and the overall stability of the global financial system. Speaking of overall stability, today's sponsor for this video is Mumu, which could help stabilize our investment. In May, U.S. stocks surged due to the improving economy, inflation, and growing optimism about interest rate cuts. All three major indices hit new records, and 11 Wall Street banks raised their predictions for the year-end S&P 500 index. On a day when CPI cooled down, the U.S. stock market soared. Investors are monitoring June's economic data for signs of another surge in the U.S. stock market. To take advantage of potential opportunities, use Momo's earning calendar that displays key data such as CPI, Federal Reserve interest rates, and unemployment rates. What's more, Momo offers new users 15 free stocks, 8.1% annual percentage yield or APY for three months on idle cash in their cash suite and a transfer and bonus of up to $300. Subscribe with one click and receive reminders before the release of CPI in June to gain insight into signals of the stock market. Don't miss out on the chance for a potential surge in U.S. stocks. Moreover, Moomoo supports pre-market and post-market trading. With the longer 16-hour trading time, it allows me to trade as soon as I get the earnings report. By trading earlier, it allows me to close the deal when I think it is most favorable instead of having to wait until the market opens and potentially losing out on opportunities. Moomoo is also one of the lowest-cost trading platforms available. It offers zero commission and no platform fees for stocks, options, and ETFs. After comparing fees, it has one of the lowest rates. There are no subscription fees, no minimum deposit requirements, and no account management fees. Other fees may apply. If you're a new user, sign up using our link and make a deposit to receive up to 15 free stocks, along with an 8.1% limited time APY on idle cash and a transfer and bonus of up to $300. Don't miss out on these rewards. To make it simple, go ahead and just scan this QR code on your screen to get your 8.1% annual percentage yield only from Moomoo. The IMF has also raised concerns about the rapid growth of the cryptocurrency market, warning that the lack of regulation and oversight could lead to financial instability, fraud, and the funding of terrorism. The fund has urged regulators and policymakers to enhance their supervision and enforcement efforts to mitigate these risks. If more countries join the de-dollarization trend, the demand for Bitcoin could soar as people look for alternative stores of value. This shift could lead to significant changes in global economic power dynamics, potentially reducing the dominance of the US dollar and altering the landscape of global finance. The next decade is anticipated to be challenging for the US dollar as the BRICS alliance continues to explore alternatives and foster closer financial ties among member nations. This could pave the way for a more decentralized and diversified global financial system with cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin playing a more prominent role. However, the success of this transition will depend on the ability of the BRICS alliance to develop a viable alternative to the US dollar and the regulatory environment surrounding cryptocurrencies. Policymakers and financial institutions will need to navigate these complex changes carefully to ensure the stability and resilience of the global financial system. So there you have it, folks. The BRICS nations are making big moves, and the US dollar could be in for a rough ride. What do you think about this de-dollarization movement? How do you think it will impact Bitcoin and the global economy? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. And that's it. Make sure to smash the like and subscribe buttons down below. Additionally, if you want to know about BRICS, just click this video right here. Thank you for tuning in, and stay tuned for more exciting content in the future.